I came to Ithaca College from UNC Chapel Hill, where I did my graduate work, and Ithaca College is exactly the kind of place that I was looking for. That is, um, there's a lot going on, but it is really focused on teaching, and that's coming out of grad school what I, the way that I saw myself. I'm from the South, my uh, mother's people, as we say down there, where are your people? My people, uh, my mother's people were from the hills of Virginia sharecroppers um, in the hills of Virginia, and uh, my father's people were in the hills of North Carolina. My master's thesis was on cultural history in Richmond, um, where I grew up and where I went to college. And while doing that research, I found references to a sensational murder case. And then I realized that people hadn't really written in the historical literature on, um, on these sensational murder cases, and that became my dissertation and was revised into my, my book. At that point, there really weren't other books on murder cases in the South, and especially the ways that I was able to contrast white stories of crime with African American stories of crime in the South um, made it a rich, um, a rich study. I think the greatest contribution that I offer my students in my teaching is my enthusiasm. Understanding that different students need different things, there are different kinds of learners. In a single class, I'll try to mix up different sorts of teaching, some visual, some auditory, some discussion, some lecture. This is not 20 students who are all going to learn the same way. Um, they all need something from this class and it's going to be a different something. A new course that I'm offering is um, 1968, uh, a U.S. Revolution. And this last term was the first time that I taught it. And it's been a revelation in that I've never tried to teach a course so focused in one moment. And of course we end up talking about the whole generation, the whole era. But having the focus of going through a year and talking about civil rights in this year and the Vietnam War in this year and politics in this year has been really effective in allowing the students to imagine themselves in that moment. And when graduates from Ithaca College uh, who were here in 1968 came into the class um, and they were talking about what it was like to be on this campus and it's uh, the most successful teaching venture that I've had in terms of having students imagine themselves there and that's really been rich. It's always our hope that they're gonna become lifelong learners and use this in other in whatever ways that they are, are able. Some of my students will become history professors or will become teachers at the secondary level and there there's a direct connection between the work that we're doing in the classroom and what they're going to be doing in their lives. For most of our students that's not going to be the way um, but we found that uh, students value very highly the skills that they're um, learning in our classes, the critical thinking skills, and they're applying them in the business world and they're applying them uh, when they go to law school or, or um, in all kinds of endeavors. And that's just as valuable. We as a discipline in the liberal arts are committed to uh, the idea that you live a better life, you live a stronger, more rich life uh, by having the skills that humanities uh, program can give you. My current project evolved out of my last project. The, the book uh, ends as so many of the stories of the murders that it covered ended with the gallows. And it was in researching that that I realized how much of a story there is to tell about the South and capital punishment. So where I see that going is looking in particular at the transition from public execution, uh, which stayed in the South, stayed prominent in the South much larger, longer than the, the rest of the nation, to private execution and a different dynamic that that involves behind closed doors um, and not a public spectacle in the same way. This has involved me in the history of lynching, another extra-legal way of ending uh, the lives of, uh, of uh, Southerners, uh, which is another side to that project. Uh, I'm in the middle of that project now, and um, it's making good progress, um, but it will be years before it's done. In the field of history, it takes quite a long time of archival work and then reworking your writing to get um, a book-length project completed.
This coming year I'm going to be chair of the history department for the first time and I've had many service um, positions in the school faculty council and faculty senate and within the department but I've never been chair and so this is going to be learning a new set of skills and I'm looking forward um, to discovering uh, where that's going to take us. The department has matured so over the last five years we've had a number of different assistant professors becoming tenured associate professors and I believe that puts our department in a very interesting place in which uh, we can really consider who we are and where we want to go um, in a new and interesting way. My, my hopes for the future for myself at Ithaca College are that I continue to find new ways to engage myself at a variety of different levels. Um, this year I become chair for the first time and that's going to be new for me. That's going to be enriching. Um, my scholarly projects evolve year by year. Um, I would like to develop new classes so that that's another side that is uh, enriching and re rejuvenating in terms of my um, my academic life, my life as a professor here. I did not know that my name was being put forward until it was announced that I had gotten the award and I was floored that uh, colleagues of mine and a former student of mine put in the effort and the time to write these letters in support of my award so um, it's, it made me feel tremendous that they um, thought so much of my work as to do that. Um, the, appropriate word is the word that's often overused in awards giving, which is it's humbling. Um, when I think about the faculty, the wider faculty and all that they are doing, I just pri feel privileged to be a part of that faculty, um, much less to get an award. I mean, that's, that's really overwhelming.